But remember, he says, because of this, I've said to you that no one's able to come to me unless it has been given to them by my Father. So it's not the magical verse that you use or some other thing that kind of wakes them up. The Father has to do the work. Now, you should be prepared and ready for them if they get drawn to you so that you can answer their questions and help them along. But only if the Father does it. It's not up to you. That's why we don't knock on doors and we don't stand in streets and we're not handing people tracts and we're not irritating everybody we know thinking that somehow this is going to make a difference. Oh, but, but you don't understand, Rabbi. It worked really good in Christianity. Well, why not? Look what you offered them. There couldn't be anything easier and better and, and more rewarding than to do almost nothing and then have eternal life and everything fixed. I'm amazed everybody didn't become a Christian. I mean, I, really, I do. I mean, I'm not saying that as a joke. I mean, if, that, if, if, if you could convince me at all that that was true, why wouldn't anybody, anybody and everybody just run to do it? Just accept him as your personal Messiah, make an altar call, and boom, you're done. You're in. You got your golden ticket. Boom, boom, boom. Of course it works with people. Of course, you go to them and say, you need to change your whole life around and change everything you're doing and the way you do it and everything else. Nobody's interested in that. You weren't either. That wasn't what you were looking for. But when he popped you and punched you and poked you and got your peace all disturbed, you needed to figure out how to scratch that itch and fix that problem. And in that searching, you realized, oh, in order to do that, I'm going to have to change everything. And it's worth it. But you were not interested. That was not what you were looking for. And I know that a lot of you are sitting there going, yeah, this thing's that I was having a good time just happily living life, and now I have to give it up, and I'm not thrilled about that. Okay? But he's going to put you in that place where you needed to change. You needed to really go through that whole process of the transformation. Okay? Transformation is not simple. It's not easy. It takes effort. It takes work. Let's go ahead... Um, see, some of you think, I just don't know why this popped in my head. Do you remember those guys, the magicians that would be on the TV shows, and they'd be standing there like on top of a box, they'd pull a curtain up, drop it down, and it's somebody else. Or they put it down, and they're in a completely different outfit or whatever. That's what some of you think it's all about, transformation, boom, like that. You just pull the curtain, put it back down, okay, you're a different person now. No, you're going to have to go through really undoing, unlearning, unstudying, changing your habits, changing your thought processes, changing the way you do everything. It's not that simple little magic thing. <laughs>